the bottom. Hello, welcome to the channel. Fuck off. Hey, can you welcome to the channel? I've just been to Falkirk District. Why is there a whistling noise coming through the van? We're doing 50 miles per hour. To the chat, so I forgot you were there. Uh, yeah, okay, what's happening? We're piling along the road. Uh, holy shit. Why is that? I'm looking at up there. What the freaking hell is that? screen or something up there. It's weird. I want to live in a floodplain. Yeah, this is the place. I've got just the ideal place for you. Right here. Oh, the goths. Ooh, I'd like to go in there. Have a beer. Ah, uh, the twang for the old beer's coming back again. Ugh. Oh, I need a beer. Oh. Oh. Oh, I need one. I need it now. I need a beer. I'll maybe get one on uh, Saturday night. If I can get down to uh, the, the car show and see. I'm, I'm sort of toying with the idea of actually staying there the night. And then I could go down to uh, the Western Arms and have a beer. Ah, and I could have another beer. And another beer. Hey, hey. And I've got to just walk back. And then I could be feeling a bit rough on the Sunday. But I've got to keep my wits about me on Sunday. Yeah. So we did a bit of truck spotting over at um, Clean, watching this, look at the speed humps. Now what a lot of people don't realise, or maybe they do realise, or maybe they don't give a shit, is that when you put speed humps in um, trucks, because there's a lot of trucks going to use that road, they go up and they thump back down. So like, I don't know how heavy it is a truck. So when it when it goes thumping back down, uh, it, what what I'm really saying is that a lot of a lot of these like things that councillors do or the government, they, they only think very narrow-minded. They just think about one aspect of something, and they don't think about like when you do something, you make a law or you change something, they just they just think like very narrow thinking. But, so when the truck comes crashing back down, it'll shake the foundations of the houses. 
you know, sort of thing. Every time, if you think, if you, if you go and count how many trucks that is in a day, a plane, for example, you know, how many is it in a day? A hundred? I don't know. A hundred trucks go through there in a day? Maybe we should go there and count them. Sitting around about with a deck chair. That sounds really dim. Get a Ford behind us. Sorry, I'm getting in the way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a young team. They've removed the suspension from the car and they have to tell the insurance company. There's girlfriends sitting in it. Or oh, is it a girl? Oh, right. It's a girl, it's a girl racer. Cyclist! Idiotic cyclist. expect unexpected. We were talking today about indoctrination, well I was talking on Facebook about indoctrination in schools. So they're indoctrinating children with net zero stuff. Um, so that's the difference between education. So education would be teaching somebody to question things or teaching somebody how to count or something. That would be education. But indoctrination would be telling people that Climate change is a big problem and we have to do something about it and we need to reach net zero by 2030 or something. That's indoctrination. Because it's not at all like that. It's, it's, that is brainwashing. So I suppose the kids... Well, most of them are just going to accept stuff. Or they may not fucking care, I suppose. The indication wasn't very good there. They weren't indicating it come off. The Audi was doing it, the other car. So like, what I do now is I indicate to come off here. So that car there knows that I'm coming off. But even though, like, the Audi was sort of pointing like it was coming off. It was indicating that it was to keep going. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, look. It's... Is that where going? Right, so I hope you didn't enjoy that video. I really couldn't care less the way I'm feeling right now. Did you order a taxi? Well, I certainly didn't. So many nimbies around, always nimbying around. Safe out there. Oh, oh, you got to be safe. I mean, why the fuck started that shit? You got to be fucking dangerous, not safe. Be dangerous. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Bye!